All right, guys, we're going to watch, which I think is just kind of cool, as this just shows my process as I built this thing through and the order in which I go. Um, and you'll see sketches and, you know, construction plans and bodies and components and things just start to move up and uh, come together as I sit here and talk. But right now I'm working on the back. Don't think I'm able to turn this. I am not um, as it does that. So uh, you won't be able to see the back, but um, we may look at it from a couple of different angles. But right now I'm working on building the... Um, well, I just finished building the shoulder girdle in the back, and now I'm working through the front right now. Working through the plates, watching, building out some of the sketches. You'll see some stuff come together um, to hold the two pieces together. There's an internal and an external um, exoskeleton. So there's uh, two layers of the exoskeleton. This is to support the actuators that go in here on both sides um, so that it... Uh, is structural on both sides because the actuators I'm using um, are my own design. They're um, artificial muscles, they're hydraulic, um, and they produce a ton of force, like literally six tons of force. They're some of the highest strength, they are the highest strength to weight ratio actuator that I know of, um, period. And uh, therefore that would just kind of rip apart normal materials. So if it was just on one side, especially so, um, the aluminum is already gonna have t trouble with its tensile strength um, to do it, but uh, by making it double-sided, it at least gives it a fighting chance. Um, and then in the front, you'll see uh, there's actually the exoskeleton comes through. Um, the shoulder girdle comes all the way down to the front. It's uh, double-layered in the back and single-layered in the front. Um, and you'll see how the two parts just come together, and you'll see there's a bolt that holds the front to the back um, for both the deep and the superficial exoskeleton. Um, and you'll see I'm kind of working on those right now. And then... I started off putting all the plates together, and now I'm putting all what I call the struts together. So there's plates and struts, which is like the general way I build things. I just put some holes in for exomuscle muscles to go. Those are these holes right here. Um, and then more of the struts are coming together right now, which is the final touches, finishing touches. Um, and then uh, after that, it'll be, uh, once all those are together, um, it'll be holes um, for bolt holes. I'm working on those in the back right now, um, which you're not going to be able to see. Oh, no, I'm doing them somewhere else. But anyway, I'm putting bolt holes through because um, this thing bolts together in a lot of ways. And then um, after that, you'll see me start to put together. I'm trying to remember what comes after that. Oh, fillets. That's great. So I start to round off all the corners because I want everything to look very pretty. Um, and then I'm working right down here right now, putting in some um, parts for the lumbar to attach to, and then up here for the neck, and then going up here, um, that is for the uh, arm to attach to as well. So those are uh, hinge joints going together there. Now th there goes the bolt holes to hold those parts on. Um, and then soon we'll be putting in the fillets, which is like the exciting final piece um, to make everything. I want very rounded off, very smooth, no sharp edges. It also makes it easier for the machine to cut um, when you don't have sharp corners for it to cut just makes things work a little bit better. Putting in holes in the back, these, these shoulder girdle, which I'll show you in a second, is held together with a whole bunch of bolts because I can't really fit the entire thing onto my machine. Putting some holes in the front for this to go together, some holes up here for these to go together. And now, um, at the very end, I've mirrored everything over. Um, I brought in another uh, body um, to check it because I have two scans of my body and then uh, I put all the joints together as well at the very end. So those things tend to slow the program down so I don't joint and add anything together till the very end. Okay, now that we got that, um, I'm going to show you my beautiful face, um, give you a better idea of my facial expressions and everything that's going on. But I want to show you how this thing actually works. So the next cool little thing we're going to look at is this. I'm going to show you how it actually moves. So here we are, we'll see the suit going up and down. I don't know why that, there we go. So it's going up and down. Now we're going forward and backwards and those were both motions for the shoulder uh, girdle, which is right here, uh, moving around that joint. Now this, so these up and down and this forward and backward is two joints that are moving around this and they, two joints for making a single exoskeleton joint, or I'm sorry, two exoskeleton joints for making a single human joint. Um, in this case, in the case of the shoulder, it's uh, three. And the, you can see the first one right there, it's just moving now, which is the um, 
the up and down like this. So there'll be two parts that come onto the arm and uh, the arm will come down and out like that from the top. Um, that's what these guys are right here uh, that we saw earlier getting made. Um, those come down and that's where the arm attaches. So um, where you see multiple bolt holes, that is where uh, those bolts won't be removed to get me in and out of the suit. And then where you see like a single bolt hole, like this guy right here, uh, that, and then there's another one on the deep layer for, too. So the deep layer goes on first and then the um, superficial layer comes on after that. Um, and so those just come in with one bolt holding the front to the back. And then there's this big kind of mechanical advantage with lots of friction and lots of mechanical, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but there's a lot of surface area, surface contact there to kind of give that some extra strength. So there's only one bolt going in there. This is all going to be tapped with 632 bolts. That's what all these holes are for. Um, obviously getting into here, it's going to be quite complicated. Um, the shoulder girdle is uh, kind of extraordinary. Um, not to sound too cocky, but um, I want to show you the back and how it looks. So I took the uh, <clears throat> superficial layer off um, just in the back. So you can see here, like that's where like that back part would come in and attach with the bolt right there. But that's now off. And so you can see just kind of how this works and how it moves and how it goes together. I need to change these bolt holes that are in here, these guys, because I have four there right now, and actually that's going to be a bolt that actually uh, um, comes on and off with the suit. So I'm going to put one larger bolt there because I don't trust a single small bolt because there's a lot of torque um, on that joint. It's not like it's just being held together like this is. So um, I'm going to replace it with a much larger point, uh, bolt, rather. Um, probably probably a, like a quarter size bolt, um, quarter inch size bolt, or maybe a half inch size bolt. We'll see there's probably going to be a half inch bolt that goes right in the back of this too, um, that gets bolted in there, a single bolt. Um, they won't be countersunk bolts, these bolts. Um, but there's probably going to be as this comes back on, as that gets pushed on like that, it's going to be a single bolt that goes right there and it bolts that entire thing together. And then most of this I'm cutting out on the CNC router, which I own. Um, I got a lot of videos on it. I make daily videos. And so I have just a ton of videos on that if you're interested. Um, but this piece right here, I also own an old lathe from the 1940s. It was built during World War II. It's super badass. Um, I'm going to build that on there as well as some of these pieces on there. Um, build most of them on the um, on the lathe. And then this pat these patterns and stuff right here, I will cut in with the router. Um, and then all, this, all these plates and stuff, all these smaller pieces are going to be cut with the CNC router. So um, pretty fucking cool. I've... Made a lot of tweaks. This is the second iteration of draft six of this thing. So I have been working on this for quite a while, um, and I'm just about ready to start building it. And I'm actually going to build this part first. So um, you'll notice there's like kind of two parts of this. There's the part that is the cage that goes around it, the chest piece, and then there's the shoulder girdle, which is all the stuff that's moving. I'm going to build the chest piece first. Um, and that'll give me a really good base, not only to build the shoulder girdle, which happens to be in this file, um, but also builds up towards the neck and then the head and then down to the lumbar and to the pelvis so I can go lots of different directions from here. Um, what I'll probably do is start, the shoulder girdle is going to be one of the hardest things to machine on oh, the suit. It's also the most complicated part of the suit. Um, so I may start with that as a, like step two or I may decide to go up towards the head or something. I'll either go t one of two directions. I'm probably not going to go down because it's a lot of metal that way. So I might build this and then I might go up to the head because I think the head is actually going to be required to support a little bit of the weight and kind of keep this uh, torso part um, kind of in the right location. Um, so I may actually build up and build the head second, or I'm going to build out the shoulder girdle and I'm going to build the arm because the arms would be really cool to build too. So I'll do one of those two things second. But the first thing I'm going to do is build everything that's not moving um, in this. And that's going to be really cool. I was going to originally do the pelvis, but I actually decided this is actually a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable. And I don't think it's super complicated um, when not looking at the shoulder girl. The shoulder girl is very complicated, but I think the, the the frame of this is actually a really good place to start. So that's where, actually where we're going to start. And we'll start building this like really soon, like literally maybe within a week. Um, I'm working on the arm, which I'll give you a little sneak peek. Here it is. Here's the, the new arm. So this is the new arm. I haven't run all the struts on it yet, so that doesn't look that exciting. But I will show you this, which is very exciting. This is the full body right here. So what I might do is build this head part up here uh, before building the shoulder girdle and the arm. But we'll see. And then, of course, I'll build down. And I haven't even designed the legs um, or the arms. 
yet either. So all that has to be done as well. But it's going to be very cool, and it's going to be happening very soon. So if you're new to the channel, and you happen to be seeing this, um, which I imagine most of you are, are fans of my channel, but if you're not, um, hit subscribe and follow me for this thing, because I'm going to be building this really, really soon. Like literally like a week. I'm getting kind of excited about it. It's going to be really cool. All right. You guys are great. Bye.